Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real, usually about sex. And today is no different because today I am bringing you guys my top four sex hacks. These are brand new hacks. These are little tips that I've not shared with you before and they are tips that are not just gonna make sex more pleasurable, they're gonna make it last longer and make it more orgasmic. Who doesn't want that? So if that sounds good to you, and I'm quite sure that it does, <laughs> then make sure you keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. So I'm always sharing tips and tricks to make your sex life better on this channel, but I really wanted to take it to the next level today and share with you just my all time favorite hacks. These are things that will really amp up your sex life and they are actual techniques that I use regularly in my own life. So I know these work, I know they're super effective and all of them are things that you can start doing today and they're going to make a huge, huge impact on not just the quality of sex you're having, but how much sex you're having because we know that when sex is good, we want more of it. So get ready to have more sex and better sex, starting with tip number one. I think the biggest mistake that I tend to see people make when they get into a long-term relationship, and I myself am super guilty of this, is making sex this kind of discreet act, making it something that just happens with no real connection to anything else in our day. So we just normally go about our day, we get into bed with our partner at night, and then we're like, well, shall we just have sex? And then we start having sex. And this strategy can actually be fairly effective for men. But we know from the research that it's not super effective for women. We know that there is something called the brain vagina loop. Well, that's what Naomi Wolf calls it anyway. You guys know I've mentioned her on this channel before. She wrote an amazing book called Vagina, which I really recommend going and checking out if you are the owner of a vagina or you are dating or in a relationship with someone who has a vagina because it will really just blow your socks off in terms of the amount of information that is in that book. But one thing that researchers found and something that Naomi Wolf writes about a lot in this book is the fact that the things that are going on in a woman's mind directly impact the things that are going on with our vagina. Essentially what that means is if a woman feels stressed, if we've had a busy day at work, if we come home and we've got children and maybe the kids have left a big mess around the house or we've had a fight with a friend or maybe we're even you know, bickering with our partner over something, that stress is not just going to be in our head, it's going to translate to our vaginas. The vaginal muscles can actually tense up and our vaginas can become less lubricated, they can become drier, and we know that any kind of sex that's not thoroughly lubricated sex for a woman is really not pleasurable sex. The most pleasurable sex for women is always wet sex, because wetter is better. So these factors actually influence whether or not we're able to get lubricated and whether or not our vaginas are able to relax enough in order to make pleasure and in turn orgasm possible. So one of the best things you can do to really ensure that you're having hotter sex and also this is gonna ensure that you're having a lot more sex is to start the foreplay up to 24 hours before the sex. Now, what do I mean by this? I do not mean for 24 hours be making out and taking each other's clothes off. That probably wouldn't work. I mean, it sounds fun. I wouldn't be against personally trying it myself, but uh, I think for most of us with busy lives, <laughs> That's probably not super practical. Now what I mean is actually getting your mind into gear as a woman and if you're the partner of a woman, helping her get her mind into gear. And there are so many things you can do with this kind of foreplay. And this is what I call clothes on foreplay. It's not foreplay involving nudity or really any kind of sexual touch. It involves things like giving your partner a long extended kiss before they leave for the day to go to work or before you leave to go to work. It involves things like making extended eye contact with your partner. A lot of married couples can go up to a week without having a deep, passionate kiss. So I'm not talking about giving your partner a kiss goodbye like a peck on the cheek or a peck on the lips. I'm talking about putting your arm around their waist, pulling them in close to their 
tight up against your body and doing a long, deep, wet, sloppy kiss, but the good kind of sloppy, not sloppy. We don't want to be getting sloppy like Labrador sloppy. That's never good. And then when your partner is at work during the day, just send them one or two very sexy, very flirty texts. Maybe send them a message telling them how sexy and beautiful and amazing they looked when you were leaving the house today and how you couldn't stop thinking about how cute their butt looked when they walked out the door. These things are going to make a huge difference so that the sex is actually something that she's already mentally starting to get into gear for long before the two of you get into bed at night. Now there was research done by Alfred Kinsey, who is a very famous American sex researcher and biologist. And he found that basically when men and women masturbate, we both reach climax in roughly about the same time, usually around four minutes. We can get there pretty quickly, but something changes for women during partnered sex. It can take women up to 20 minutes or even longer to reach climax. And for a lot of us, we might not reach climax at all. There was a pretty depressing study done into the orgasm gap that found during heterosexual sex, men orgasm roughly 95% of the time, while for women, that's just 65% of the time. So why aren't women getting there? We know we can get there easily and just as quickly as men when we're on our own. So what is it that's happening during partnered sex that's getting in the way of us getting to climax? Well, one of the number one things is feeling like we are rushed and we just don't have enough time to relax because we know that women need to be in a very relaxed state. And often when we are undressing in front of a partner, we are worrying about things like how our body looks and how confident we feel in our body. Now, if you're a man and you want to hold off getting to orgasm, it can be really difficult to simply do that by thinking about the baseball or trying to take your mind out of the game. You wanna actually be able to enjoy sex but know that your orgasm is not going to stop your female partner from having as much time as she needs to get there. And so I have a really cool, really nifty hack for you. And it's from my friends at Promescent who are also, you guessed it, today's video sponsor. Promescent have just released these delay wipes and let me tell you, they are a game changer. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you might have seen me talk about Promescence Delay Spray. It is, of course, a spray that men can apply to their penis in order to last longer in bed. You can see that's one of the little wipes there. It is so small and discreet. It is definitely something you could have even in your wallet or in your jeans pocket. You can definitely take it traveling and Chances are, if you don't want your partner to see it, they're not going to see it. You can just quickly whip it out and apply it to your penis so that you can take that edge off and enjoy longer lasting sex. The wipes use some of the same technology as Promescent's popular delay spray, which is fast absorbing, has little to no transfer and is FDA compliant. And they're extremely convenient and discreet. They're also 75% stronger than other wipes. Plus Promescent has actual doctors supporting and recommending their products. Over 2000 in the US alone. So you know you can trust them. And Promescent offer a 60 day unconditional money back guarantee, even if you use it and don't like it. Plus free shipping when you spend over $10 within the US. And discretion is their number one priority. There's private shipping with no mention of the brand or product anywhere on the packaging when it's mailed out to you. So if you guys want to try these wipes, there's really no risk at all involved. And better still, because I love y'all and I really want you to try them out, I've arranged a 15% discount for y'all so you can go ahead and give these a go. And also remember, when you buy from Promescent, you're supporting me, you're supporting sex positive content because brands like Promescent partner with me because you guys go out and buy their products and support them. All you need to do to enjoy that 15% discount is just click the link below this video. It's going to apply that discount for you instantly and automatically so you don't need to worry about any code and you can go ahead and enjoy longer lasting sex. Our ability to get turned on, to climax, to enjoy sex and to have a robust libido is directly impacted by how we treat our bodies. So if you are not eating well and especially if you're consuming a lot of alcohol 
or you smoke, these factors can really negatively impact the quality of your sex life. If you want to have better quality sex, it's really important to have a healthy diet and specifically to be very hydrated. This is even more important for women because women's bodies need to be hydrated in order for our vaginas to get adequately lubricated. And if you're already suffering from vaginal dryness because you're going through menopause or even just related to certain types of medication like antidepressants and the birth control pill, which can impact vaginal lubrication, then it's even more important for you to be hydrated. You can also really focus on getting good fats and omega-3s into your diet. Things like salmon, avocado, walnuts. These sorts of foods are really great because they're rich in those good oils and fats that are actually going to help to make your vagina be more plump and juicy and lubricated. If you are drinking soft drink all day, you're not drinking enough water and you're having lots of junk food, chances are high that you don't have a strong libido and that you are going to have more difficulty getting to climax. The same goes with exercising. If you live a sedentary lifestyle, that is going to affect your blood flow, including the blood flow down to your genitals. You wanna have really great genital blood flow and a good way to increase that is by doing exercise. It doesn't have to be super strenuous. You can do something you find fun, like walking or dancing, but find a way to get your body moving regularly and then you can get your body moving in sexual ways as well. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Just about every time I make a video about sex tips, I tell you all that the most important thing you need to do is communicate with your partner about what you want. But this is such a difficult thing to do that I even struggle with it myself. Even at, yes, 37 years of age, I'm really just giving away how old I'm getting here. Even at 37 years of age, even being someone who quite literally writes and talks about sex for a living, I really struggle to take my own advice sometimes. I have found myself being in the middle of sex, doing something that is not bringing me a ton of pleasure or is maybe even a little bit uncomfortable and feeling apprehensive about telling my lover that I'm not enjoying that thing because I don't wanna hurt their feelings. And this is a really common experience that most of us have at some point, especially when we are having sex with someone we really love and care about. We don't wanna bruise their ego. We don't wanna hurt their feelings. And so often we keep repeating the same things in bed that aren't actually bringing us pleasure. So one of the best things you can do for your sex life is to really try on some radical honesty. And it doesn't have to be brutal. It doesn't have to be mean or intimidating. You can wrap it up in some positives. As they say, you get more flies with honey than vinegar. Is that the saying? You guys know what I mean. By putting a positive first, that's going to make that feedback easier for your partner to take. So rather than simply saying to your partner, that thing you're doing isn't working for me or that thing you're doing feels awful or I don't like it. You can say something like, I really like it when you do this thing. Could we do more of that? And really focus on those things. Or if something your partner is doing is feeling uncomfortable, ask them to experiment with the angles. Say to them, hmm, that's not feeling quite right. Could we lean forward a bit or could we move over a bit or could we change position to this other position? Sometimes something's as small as simply changing an angle during sex can make a huge explosive difference to your pleasure, especially for women because we have a G-spot and you can find that just slightly angling your body differently can allow your partner's penis or fingers to hit your G-spot so that you can have really profound pleasure. So don't be afraid to be radical with your honesty. Now I hope these tips helped you out and I hope that you will all go away and try Promescent's new delay wipes because I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I love that they are just making it so convenient and easy. This is something you can buy for your male partner as a gift and you can just keep it in his bedside table. It's obviously a gift to yourself because you're gonna have longer and better, hotter sex. And it's something that I think is great for guys to just keep on you. Keep some in your travel bag, keep some in your bedside drawer because they're in these individual pouches. You can put them everywhere so that you never have to be without one. And I think it's important to remember that 
Using a product like this is not just for men who suffer from premature ejaculation. It's for any man who wants to make sex last longer. And if you're partnered with a woman, then you should definitely be wanting sex to last longer. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Give the video a thumbs up if you would like more content like this, more sex hacks, more of that style of content. And I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.